father of a three-month-old baby girl found dead in a wooded area in the Bronx has been charged with her murder. Baby Genevieve was found Sunday night near 161st Street and the Major Deegan Expressway. Now both her parents are under arrest. Fox 5's Richard Jacobus joins us live outside Bronx Criminal Court where the two are expected to be arraigned. Richard. Still no arraignments, David and Natasha, and what a tragic story this is. Damien Commager says he shook his three-month-old daughter because she would not stop crying. That's what police say. The father told the relative of the baby girl because the little girl, he said, wouldn't stop crying, but also because little Genevieve was not listening to him. The baby girl's body, lifeless body, was found dead along the Major Deacon Expressway over the weekend. Commager, as he was led out of the 44th Precinct last night, Answered this question. I love my daughter. Did you shake her? It was a mistake. Those were his words. Police say they spoke with the baby's grandfather who told them Damien shook Genevieve and then realized he had killed her. He reportedly panicked, put the baby's lifeless body in a bag and dumped her along the expressway in the woods. Commager and the baby's mother, 20-year-old Ivana Palazzi, lived in a housing shelter nearby in University Avenue in the Bronx's Highbridge section. Commager faces murder and manslaughter charges. Palazzi was also arrested and charged with concealment of a human corpse and obstruction. We've been waiting all afternoon for the Raymond here at Bronx Criminal Court. We're told that the court is expected to reconvene tonight at 5.30 and that that arraignment could happen as early as 6 o'clock. If it does, we'll bring that to you. The medical examiner still has the baby's body. They have not revealed the cause of death, but the NYPD is still treating this case as a homicide. Tragic. It's just horrible, horrible, horrible story. We're live tonight at the Grand Concourse section of the Bronx. Richard Giacomo, Fox 5 News. Yeah, absolutely heartbreaking. All right, Richard, thank you.